In this video, I'm going to show you how to clean the oil off of a 50mm 1.8, uh, it'd be AIS or uh, E-Series. Uh, it's a really fantastic lens. They're dirt cheap on eBay, so they're definitely worth uh, picking up. And um, this little guy has some oil on the aperture, it does happen. Um, it's not totally hung up, but eventually what can happen is the oil will clog on the aperture causing the aperture to stop functioning um, and they will get stuck wide open. Um, so it's a really easy project to do and it's definitely worth doing. Um, they can be done really quickly. So what you do is you take a Nikon lens cap, surprisingly, and I just put a little rim of tape on it. Uh, this is not the same tape, but you get the idea. Um, so you put a little rim of tape on there and you can take the name plate off with that. You just press down pretty firm and it should, yeah, it should come out relatively easy. It, there might, you know, might take a little force, but it works really well. You don't need, I'm, I'm kind of showing you this project. You don't need a spanner. You don't need a lot of heavy equipment and different things. Um, this is a pretty easy project. Um, so then you'll have a few um, you have a few uh, screws. Um, there's three long ones and three short ones. Um, the uh, the long ones you want to keep them separated, but the the long ones go from the um, um, the filter ring. So just make sure you're separating them. And so you're gonna take out all six screws. And they're not in very tightly because they're pretty small screws and they don't have a huge job of holding something in. So that'll be the ring. Comes off fairly easily. And then you'll take off the other three that are inside. This holds the uh, optics in. And it should just pop out. It's a little bit tight. And try not to touch that element. If you don't touch the elements, you don't have to clean them. And if you do clean them, you'll never get them as perfect as, like, you're not in a completely um, dust-free environment. Um, now this little bit, let me see if I can focus it out and see better. So you have these two screws. You want to kind of remember which one goes where because when you put it back together, it's um, really important. Um, um, so I, I would set like the left one on the left, looking at maybe look at this, and then this one goes here, so you move it to the right. And then when you put the lens back together, we're going to have this to the top right or something, some way that you can remember. Um, the reason being is that when we're going to set this, this will actually rotate the aperture. So you want to get these screws almost identical to where they are. And um, they'll have, when you break them off, there's going to be glue residue on the screws, which is nice because then you can see, don't take it off, you can see which screw goes where um, because of the pattern of the glue if you, if you look really closely. Um, and that'll just help you to line that up. So, just take both of those out. We'll do what I said. I put the one on the right and the other one on the left. Um, and now, this uh, whole assembly, I believe, should just pop out. i take this off. You can sometimes push through the threadings. Um, and I might need to tap this one. There it comes. Um, now this is really important. I'm going to show you guys what goes where because putting it back together, this is this before you start removing things, you got to be aware of what goes where. Um it's very key. Um So let me I don't know how I can show you this. 
basically, we're going to pull this ring off because I guarantee there's going to be oil underneath there as well. Um, you have that kind of banana shaped line and that piece moves through with the pin and that rotates on this to open and close the diaphragm. Um, so just remember that's going to be fed through that banana shape thing. Um, there's this opening here which th that's the lever to open and close the aperture on the back side. You guys are familiar with that. That feeds through this box. Just kind of think of it as a a, a longer banana a straighter with a uh, rectangle um, in there um, and then this other pin uh, slides down inside of um, there's a two prongs in there and then also you'll notice that there's this cutaway on both sides that cutaway needs to you, you you probably can't see it, but maybe I can get the light. There's there's um there's two notches, one on this side and one on this side, and you need to get those slid down. And when you slide everything together, it just goes shink back together perfectly. So and it makes that sound shink. I don't know. <laughs> um. So then there's the little spring here. You just lift it off. This just uh, closes and the. Uh, aperture set that aside um, and now this is almost ready to fall out um, but I guarantee there's gonna be oil under this as well so what I do is I hold this with my thumb this so there's um uh, like a C a C I don't know what they call it clamp whatever and um, you can just hold it, it's the brass guy, you just hold it with your thumb on one side and then you just flick the other side and it should just pop out. Yeah, here it comes. There. So let's take a peek, so you can set that down. And there it is, look at all that oil. So that's where it would have leached in from. Um, so I remember this will go down, this part sticking up, and this, uh, I don't know, curve, this is what rotates the aperture open. It's going to be closest to um, the pin over here, slides on that pin. So you can pull that off. And you can clean that just and so what we're cleaning with is just uh, rubbing alcohol um, does a fantastic job it breaks down the oil without uh, doing any destructive damage it's very clean very dry um, and then so then this whole this um, this plate will pull out yeah so it's really easy um, just remember uh, this here is the pin, okay? And that slides through. This is huge, you guys, so pay attention. Class. <laughs> um, you, that's, remember we called it the banana, <laughs> the, the really curved banana on the back side? I'll hold it, so that there, that's where it slides through. Now, on here, you have, you're going to feel that this is raised a little bit on uh, going in towards the aperture. This this is raised a little bit and that's going to be up with this piece. Remember this is what the um, um, uh, spring attached to so that has to be going up and it's going to come in through here. And then you have this U shape, okay? And that's where the banana pin goes through. Wow, this is not technical terms. So you got the banana banana pin. <laughs> okay, so, and the banana pin goes through the U-shaped <laughs> dog hole, um, and then through there. Um, and then uh, so yeah, we're gonna lift this off in a second. But I want to show you. You see all this is all the aperture blades are fed on through these little pins. Um, 
and they're all going to be stacked. Um, you want to go, uh, you want to put the first one down. When, we, when you, you take it apart, you're going to clean the aperture blades with rubbing alcohol and a, a Q-tip. Then when you put it down, you put the first blade down, and then you just stack them from, uh, you do it clockwise. And then the last one you're going to slip in. So we're just going to pull this off very carefully. And, well, there's not much oil on there. But as you can see, the aperture blades are really wet. I'm surprised it wasn't being held open. Um, so, really technically and proper, you just knock them out. <laughs> there.